8 Ball Pool was released around some time in 2010. During the beginning and rise of the game 8 Ball Pool, quick-fired world records and high scores were either not common or no one really cared about them at all, and footage of 8 Ball Pool alone during the time was very scarce to find, let alone people filming world records for quick fire. It seems no one cared about world records at the time for quick fire, and it's even overlooked today too. People just didn't care enough to try and go for crazy records on the game, and all the footage and screenshots of high scores were scattered and very uncommon back then. But one day in April 2015, a user by the name of Michael Huang, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, that's just me reading it the way that I see it. He started an 8 ball pool forum on Miniclip's website that was strictly for posting videos and screenshots on your quickfire high scores for competition. Now at first this seemed kind of like a little fun type thing where like you know people would send in maybe a few thousand points they got on quickfire just to kind of show people the stuff that they get but the thing is this was made like strictly for competition like this was very legit the form is really legit and does not play around it has strict rules and regulations if you are trying to compete and it's actually a competition there are tons of rules that you actually need to follow and a bunch of stuff that you need to have in order to actually even post stuff on that form and the thing is it talks about like the number of points you have to have in order to actually post something on there just so you're not posting like you know maybe like a couple hundred points on quick fire because he actually aimed for this to be a real competition so so for the quick fire world records and high scores, there are five different categories that you compete in and they all have different rules and regulations and things like that. There's mobile, which is basically like phones, iPads, stuff like that. And the two in mobile are guidelines and no guidelines. There's computer, there's two in computer, which is guidelines and no guidelines. And then there's nine ball pool quick fire, which is obviously only on the computer. Now these are five totally different categories. So basically if you get maybe like a guidelines high score on mobile, it does not affect the high score on the computer computer and the nine ball and stuff like that it really is all different categories completely I'm not gonna go over all five of the categories because the video would be way too long so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the one I found the most interesting which is basically the computer quick fire Very quickly after the forum was opened, a few people were posting up their high scores from PC Quickfire. These scores were in about the 50,000s and they were all kind of, you know, pretty close to each other. But then a person by the name of Kyokiju got a score in the same month that blew all other scores out of the water on PC. Kyokiju was the first person ever with photo evidence to get above 60,000 on 8 ball pool Quickfire for the PC. People congratulated him for this. It is amazing. They already hit a milestone in the first month of the forum being opened. People started to like the competition and they were all trying to beat the score They were trying to beat each other and beat their own personal best and things like that And there are people who claim to get a higher score than kill Kiju But they had no evidence like they had no photo evidence or video evidence to support their claims They just left a message saying that they did of course these people that were claiming these things It wasn't accepted because they didn't have any video evidence or photo evidence to back up that they did get a higher score than him at the time So kill Kiju's score actually lasted for a little while and people in other locations away from the forum had posted pictures of their score but it was hard to tell if it was real or not because the ways that the photo was set up it is really easy to alter the photos with just a few simple computer tricks one of the pictures that was sent in that beat Kiju's score it looked like this the white background makes the score very easy to change so whether it was thought to be legit or not at the time, I do not know. The score had been set by Kill Kiju and no one had even gotten close to it. And no one did for a very long time. And this guy posted this score. It was a little bit suspicious because he came out of nowhere and obviously I do not know if this guy did do anything to it. I, this could be completely legit for all I know and I do not want to put shade on this guy's name. Whether it's the world record or not and whether he got it legit, I do not know. But I'm just going to say it was legit and refer to him as the new world record holder anyway because this could very much be real as much as it could be fake. Now the thing is I'm trying to stress that I'm not saying that this score is fake at all. This could be completely real. I honestly think that it's real but the thing is at the time when this score was actually set, the people, it was a little bit suspicious because this guy set this record, Kill Kiju, and no one could get close to it. And then this guy comes out of nowhere and just kind of posts up this pic. So it was a, it was pretty suspicious, but of course, I say that he got it legitimately. I do not think that any mods or anything were involved or any like altership of the picture was involved or anything like that. So I'm gonna call him the new record holder. Sumo playing Vidit set the record of 64,000 on April 2015. Many tried to beat it but were not successful. Even the legend, Mr. Miss, tried to beat it and he didn't even get close to beating it. 
At this point, the competition really started to grow. The people there wanted to beat the record, but no one seemed to even break 60,000 points, let alone the high score of 64,000. People in the forum were posting tips and tricks and strategies, maybe how to pop balls faster, maybe how to get multiplier faster, maybe how to, you know, save time in between potting balls and things like that. Everyone was trying to help everyone out with tips and tricks in order to try to beat the high score, but no one seemed to even be able to get close to the record set by Sumo and Kyokiju. On May 2015, nearly one month after the last set record, a player came on and blew Sumo and Kill out of the water absolutely shattering the records with a number unimaginable. A player by the name of Zog had come out of nowhere and beat the current world record by almost 16,000 points with a score of 79,000. Many people had been trying to beat the previous record of 64,000 and had not even come close to breaking it, so the amount of which the record had been broken by Zog was absolutely unimaginable. Needless to say, some people thought it was fake and asked for video evidence, which he did not have any video evidence. He only had a screenshot of the game that he played that said the number 79,000. He still got an official record even with the doubts that people had. They cannot understand how he did it, but they hoped and just assumed that the photo was legit and that he had not cheated and he didn't alter the photo in any way. So with Zog with the new record, many set out and tried to beat the new record. There was a lot of new records and high points being placed for the mobile version. It really wasn't rare for someone to set a record a few times in a month for the mobile version, and the points kept steadily increasing, a few thousand points each time through the players and everything. But the progression for the mobile world records is a totally different story that I won't bring up in this video just because of time purposes, but the reason why I just brought it up right now is because the progression of the 8-ball pool mobile world records, well, it acted kind of as it acted as a normal world record, gradually increasing over time as new tactics were discovered. Maybe one time the set world record would be 51,000, and then maybe you know maybe a week later it would be 53,000. You know, gaining a few thousand each time. But the PC world record, well, the PC world record just stood there for months upon months with nobody able to come close to it. It was as if people gave up on PC quickfire competition and the world record was untouchable. Many of the people previously going for the PC world record converted to the mobile version where they can compete more easily with the records there. I think the main reason for this is because the person who set the world record, which was Zog, he would not share his tactics on the forum. He literally just set the world record and completely disappeared. He appeared, set it, posted it, and then completely disappeared, never went on there, never shared tactics, never even showed any video evidence of it. And the record just stood there and it looked like Zog had the record forever because no one was able to compete with it. I mean, the record was way too huge with no backstory on how he was able to do it. The competition for the PZ version obviously started to die off. The competitors had decided to try and go for a world record in another category. Months after that, people had posted their numbers for the mobile version. The mobile version was a real hot competition. There was people posting their numbers up everywhere across the internet and things like that, really competing with each other. It seems that everyone just completely forgot about the PC competition. There would be a few people who would post their PC scores on it, but it would be completely laughable compared to Zog's score. Months later, a player by the name of Monkey Donkey posted a video that amazed the whole 8-Ball Pool Quickfire forum. A player had finally beaten Zog's record, and not only that, he had the full video evidence to prove it. Many players thought that Zog had cheated, that the 79,000 point run was not possible, that it was altered, or maybe it was Tool Assisted or something like that, but Monkey had proved it was possible by beating it and showing the video evidence to prove that it was possible to achieve such a high number. The record that no one thought could be beat had been beaten by 3,000 points by Monkey a few months later. Now this record stands as a 100% legit world record and nobody thinks that this record can be broken. And it's actually pretty funny because Monkey's aim for the run was to try and set the record for PC no guideline category, but he ended up beating the actual real world record that no one thought could be beat with no guideline as well. We don't really know for sure if Zog did use a guideline or not. All he did was he posted the picture and then had a caption as, can anyone beat 79,000? He didn't say anything else about the whole thing. So I would honestly say that Zog did use a guideline in order to get the 79,000 high score, but even if he did or not, either way, Monkey beat him and took the score by 3,000 points. Personally, I had no idea that quickfire world records were a thing until actually 
very recently. I've searched all throughout the internet looking for them and now I have found out how serious and of an actual competition it is for the people who are going for the world records in quick fire. Although only a few very select people actually try to go for the world records in quick fire and it's not mainstream, they are very persistent and will spend literally hours trying to set a new world record. The record by Monkey was set in August 2015 and from all of my searching on the internet, I can say that this record has not been beaten yet. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but to my knowledge, the record is still standing untouched today after two years of it being created. Something that furthers my assumption of this is that the creator of the official mini clip forum last updated the high scores in September 2016, and the score set by Monkey from 2015, which was basically a year before when this was updated, was still officially number one in the category. And no other screenshot on Google Images, on other websites, or anything like that that I've seen has beaten it. So as of June 7, 2017, the record set by Monkey almost two years ago still stands today. So that does it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. This took me a lot of time to research and put together all this stuff and set it in order of like date and stuff like that. So I'm sorry about that. It's probably been a few days since I uploaded. Well, now you know the reason why, but hey, it was all worth it because I learned something new and you probably did learn something new too. So if you did enjoy or you did learn something, don't forget to leave a like. This took me a while. Uh, Clash of Clans vid should be up soon. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys later. I'm Wavis and I'm out. Bye.